here's the result at the minute whilst it's wet. Um, I've come outside to try and get a bit more light on it, but it looks as though it's covered up the green quite well. Um, the reason my hair went green to start with is I had tulip on, which is um, sort of ready brownie shades to it. Then I did my purple one day and just literally pulled it right through. And obviously the purple has got more bluey and greeny tones in. So when that mixed with obviously the ends, when I washed it out, it was nearly brown. So I knew that lifting it up, it was going to go quite green because, you know, the bluey tones and the, the greens and the, the browns and the reds from those, the tulip and the plum mixing together, obviously going to make it green. But... It's a, I'm hoping it's going to be slightly brighter on the ends because that's my, um, what I'm trying to achieve. Last time I did this look, a couple of months ago, I couldn't lift the ends up too light at all. That's why I lightened them again today, just to try and get them a bit lighter so that this comes out a bit more bright. But we will have a look once it's dry and I'll let you see then. Hey guys, so here's the end result. Um, really happy with it, as always, with the direction colours. They always come out amazing. So I've gone for the turquoise, which I did put some conditioner in because I didn't want it so dark. I wanted it more pastel, little bits. So I've got the turquoise into the plum, into the tulip. The sun's there. Let's see if I can... I can't look because it's so bright. So that's it in the sun outside. And if I go in the shade, ooh, here you are. I'll pop all the colours down in the description, but I just wanted to do a little video to let you guys see what um, colour takes like over when it when you've got the green hair to start with. And the the tulip has taken beautifully, and I'm super happy with it. Bye.